Are you looking for a cheap, fun little puzzle game? Check out my review of Traffics, coming up next on Mumbles. Welcome back, everyone, to another episode of Mumbles. On today's episode of Mumbles, we are doing another game review. And today's game review is on a game called Traffics. Now, this is a short and sweet little game that I just had to review, guys, because I really love this game a lot. So let's jump straight into this review. Traffics is a game that is available for $4.99 on Steam and is created by Infinity Games. This game has a very simple description, and I'm gonna read it to you right now. Control the traffic flow by deciding when cars can pass and avoid crashes. C click on the traffic lights to change their colors and make sure drivers don't get mad. You are the king of the highway, but you must act fast and be keen to detail if you want to succeed. So guys, in my own words, this is a game about controlling traffic. You know, we've all heard of the game Red Light, Green Light, you know, stop, go. Well, this is like a real life game where basically you control the traffic lights and decide when this one goes and when that one goes. It sounds easy, but trust me, this game can get very, very, very stressful, very, very fast. So anyways, guys, now let's talk about the graphics, the soundtrack, and the controls. First off, the graphics in this game. This game is doesn't have much in the way of graphics, but what is there is bright and colorful, which is, if you know me from any of my other reviews, you know that that's something that I always find is necessary in any game is for it to have bright, colorful graphics. So the fact that this does puts it off on a good start. Soundtrack wise, this game has one of my favorite terms, gaming elevator music. I'm sorry, but it does. Gaming elevator music, guys, it's just music that's back there to please your ears and not do much else. And that's all it does. Now control wise, this game simply uses the mouse to click each traffic light as you change them. And that's all there is to it, guys. Not much more in the way of controls here. Very simple, easy to use controls, and that's all there is to it. Now let's talk about the game plan. The objective of this game is to get a set number of cars through the busy intersections without hitting other cars. It sounds simple, but it gets very hard in the later level, guys. To do this, you control the traffic light. It is really a simple game with each level getting harder and harder. It is exactly what I'm saying it is, guys. It's a very simple puzzle game. You just simply change the traffic lights and control traffic and you're good to go. Not much more to talk here about in the gameplay section. There is a challenge mode in this, which basically puts you in control of those same traffic lights on each level and ask you to make sure that no wrecks happen at all. One wreck and you're done. And that's what the challenge mode is, guys. So now let's talk about the cons to this game, guys. I have two cons for this game. The first con is that this game is rather short. It doesn't have a lot of levels. I wish it did. If it had more of everything, it would be great for everyone involved. Unfortunately, it's rather short on level-wise, but for a price of $4.99, can you really complain? I don't think you can, but it kind of reminds me of a mobile game in that sense. Now, my second con and final con is that this game is rather repetitive. You know, you can only do something in a game so many times. You need variation. And unfortunately, this game doesn't give that to you. It's just the way things go. And you know, nothing's perfect, but it is a little repetitive. So now all that's left to talk about is my overall score for this game. Guys, even though this game is short, sweet, and to the point, I love it. I really do. I love this game a lot. It was a lot of fun to play and review this. Even with a little amount of levels, I really love the thought and, and ideas that went into this game. And while at the first level I thought this game is going to be nothing, I can't even do a review on this. By the end of the game I was like, man, this was a challenge, I really enjoyed it, I need to bring this to more people. So this is me today bringing a really good puzzle game to you guys that needs to be seen, even if it's not a top game that anybody's talking about. If you need a game that's just a puzzle game, if you like puzzle games, maybe you're not a gamer gamer, but you just like to play something now and then to take your mind off work or take your mind off your life or whatever it is, this is a really good game to do that. At a price of $4.99, it won't break the bank. And on today's Bumbles review, we get the 6 out of 10. It's a great little game. I really like it puzzle-wise. Can't say enough good things about it, guys. So anyways, guys, this has been another episode of Bumbles. I want to thank you guys all so much for joining me. Please smack that subscribe button, smack that like button, smack all those button, button, buttons. Now, I'll see you guys all in the next video. Bye-bye, everyone. Take care.